Welcome to this week's video. Today, we're gonna talk about a few things that's gonna make my life a little bit easier in the camper. There's two things that always come to mind here in the truck camper that I could use more of. First, it's power. Whether it be a USB or a 12 volt power supply, I need more power. The other thing I need is more space. Let me show you what I'm thinking on that. I did a little bit of work to the dinette. Those of you that have an Arctic Fox, you know that this dinette is actually comes all the way out to here. A lot of people would use this backspace to hang garbage bags from. Well, I thought that it was just better without it. So now I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Let me show you why. A lot of times when I'm out camping, this is what it looks like. My slide's normally in. If I'm traveling, staying at a Walmart or a truck stop or a rest area, my slide's almost always in. And during the winter months when it gets super cold out, I can save a lot of heat loss by keeping the slide in. Right now you can see with the slide being in, that dinette, it's taking up part of the door. When I walk into the camper, first thing that gets in my way is this guy right here. I think we gotta get rid of it. The other thing I'm gonna do in this video is mount this 12 volt USB plug. That way I can put a pure sign inverter in here to charge my laptop with. And also I need more USB outlets and that's what this is. This is just a double 3.0 USB plug. We're gonna mount these in the kitchen. I'll show you guys how I do it. Keep in mind, I'm no professional. So here's what I'm thinking. The 12 volt plug, I put this down by the breaker box. The USB plug, I'm gonna put on the sidewall right here. That way I can set my phones on the counter while they're charging. Should be simple. Now that I got picked out where I want to put the stuff, next step, drill the holes. That'll work. The other thing I have to do is remove these drawers. And I need to bring a hole down through here. Let's see how these are gonna fit. I'm gonna take power from the top plug down to the USB outlet, from there to the circuit breaker box. I'll show you guys how. The plan is to have both the USB plug and this 12 volt plug on the same circuit. So what I'm gonna use is this connector. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna plug onto this 12 volt and it's gonna give me two plugs. One of these plugs is gonna feed up to the USB outlet. One of the plugs gonna go down to the circuit breaker box. Let's get this guy installed. Thank you. 
We'll connect our dual plugs. Our black is the positive. Our white is the negative. So if we look at my circuit breaker box, it looks like I have three spare 12 volt circuits. I'm gonna use the bottom circuit and that's where I'm gonna hook these plugs into. This is gonna be our circuit breaker box. All of the 12 volt positives are right here. 12 volt negatives are coming off this neutral line. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to hook to the very bottom lug and that's gonna be that spare that we're looking at. The negative, it's gonna get attached up here. Let's get this done. The only thing left to do at this point, throw the fuse in, see if it powers up. I'm putting a 15 amp fuse in there because that's what the wire is rated for. And then I'll write on the box, USB power, 12 volt plus. Pretty simple. Let's see if they work. Well, right off the bat, I can see it's glowing and I can turn it on and off. We'll have to get something to test it with, see if it's actually working. Let's try my phone. Perfect. All right, so the USB is charging. Let's check out that 12 volt power down below. Well, it's showing a green light and see if the USB outlets work. Bingo, charging. All right. I got a bit of a mess to clean up here. And I ordered off Amazon a pure sine wave inverter because all I have are these little junky things. They don't charge the laptop. So I'm gonna order that and then I'll show you guys how it works. And we gotta get started on removing that dinette piece. I think it's time for me to turn the coffee pot on so we can have a little break. There's a deer running through the backyard. Oh, check that out. Oh, look at that. There's a bunch of tails flashing back there. Even though I got that coffee in me, I'm not ready to tackle the dinette today. We're gonna do that. Do that another time. I gotta go to work tomorrow. That's gonna to be just in a few minutes for you guys. In the meantime, can you see that sunset? It's gorgeous. You guys want a better shot of that? Let me get you a better shot of that. All right, we're back and it's about a week later. What I did was I went on Amazon and I ordered another set of these dual plugs. You can pick up the 12 volt plug or the USB plug for about nine bucks a piece off of Amazon, or you can buy this dual unit for $15. The 12 volt and USB plug works so well in the dining room that I'm gonna put this set here in the kitchen, just in case if I ever buy an appliance that uses the 12 volt plug. Let's fast forward through this and then I'm gonna show you guys how well the pure sine wave inverter works charging my laptop.
Well, let's see if this all paid off. I've got the 300 watt pure sine and wave inverter, and this is to charge the computer. Let's see if it can do it. Green light came on. Let's plug it in. Well, that's a good sign. The light came on. Let's see what happens. There we go. It's charging. Perfect. Well, I think that bench is gonna have to wait for another video. We got this one in the bag. Remember, these electrical projects are really simple and easy, but do your own research if you're gonna be wiring in your camper. I am no professional. So until next week, be kind, be honest, we'll see you down the road.